Welcome back, people, to the channel, and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different on the channel, but we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a little master mode playthrough. Now, I have never played Terraria master mode in my life, and I wanted to do something that had to do with master mode because I want to do, ch I want to start doing challenges. So what I'm going to do is this video will be cut up a lot. I'm going to highlight some stuff. I'm going to play with you. I would play through it with you guys a lot, and I'll be playing probably a really, 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 really long bit of this so sit back and relax it's not gonna the video might not be too long but I know I'll be probably be playing hours of this game so without further ado we have to go ahead and get and make a new character because we have to do uh, we're just gonna do classic but the video the world is going to be master mode so we're gonna be doing master mode so we're gonna be doing a, a, a normal character but with master mode and here we are with the world of master mode so this is going to be kind of a, a fun thing to do. Uh, I just just decided that I would go ahead and make a nice little master mode playthrough because I I wanted to do something new on my channel. And this is kind of not new. And I also have a lot of other things to do as well on my channel. It's like I have so many ideas to do. So I am I'm in it to I'm in it to win it, I guess you can say. But we're going to go ahead. I'm going to collect some trees here. So since we're not doing hardcore, I don't have to worry about death. I'll do maybe a hardcore playthrough later on down the road. Just watching some stuff going down. Damn, we're gonna, we're gonna need to get some new tools here pretty soon. Um, so we'll go exploring around in, the, in a, a little bit later. If only I had a bug net right now, that would be really nice. That would have been 10 gold right there. So this is what we have right now for the house. Uh, there's probably gonna be some things that I'm gonna be changing. I'm going to be making a lot of platforms so I can make some stuff for boss fights later on down the road because we are going to need those but I'm also gonna need to you know grab some other stuff and explore and make sure I get the stuff that I'm gonna need so I can do so <laughs> because I'm going to need to so I'm gonna actually go ahead and play some stuff right here too so here is the start of the platform that I'm gonna be making this is actually gonna be a little thing that I'm gonna be making I'll be cutting down some trees later on down the road I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is just my way of t attacking things. Um, also, I've seen um, some other uh, probably better ways uh, to do things other than just you know. I mean, it's not as it's as if like you know I can die. I'm, it's not like I'm you know pl you know playing hardcore because I'm not. But I just want to you know make this playthrough a little bit easier for me, a little bit easier. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll uh, you know attack some things around. Just so I know I can get, you know, what I, what, I, what I need to get. This is what this video is going to be. A big bunch of dying. But that's okay. Where we die, where we build the strength to do what we gotta do. And so was the guide. The guide was, he also died. So we need to go and actually explore. I know it's getting dark, but the more times it gets dark, and the more we wait, we won't find anything. So we're gonna go around the... the I'm going to go around trying to find some chests and some stuff that I can use and maybe some extra like ore such as like tin or even iron or lead. Either one will work and then maybe I can also start to go down in the ground and find caverns that will have some life crystals as well. That is going to be a big help. So um, that's what we're going to be doing right now. And right now I'm actually going to try to find an open cavern already made from the from the world so I don't have to really do too much digging because digging with a copper pickaxe is like probably the worst thing that anybody can ever do in this game so we'll see what we can find holy sh shit man the zombie did a uh, pretty good amounts of damage there I'm gonna go ahead and make me a wooden bow so I have a ranged weapon right now I don't have arrows at the moment but I'm going to go ahead and try to find Try to find some of the arrow, uh, some arrows, smash some pots and stuff like that. I have not yet to explore. I need to, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I had to wait for the night to go over because zombies are actually really strong in master mode. Who would have thought? <laughs> so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. I'm going to go ahead and, and explore, and we'll see what we can find. So there's a lot of pots in here that I can smash. There's a lot of stuff that in here... That is actually worth smashing pots. Pots are actually really worth smashing because you can get a lot out of pots, such as shurikens and rope and even torches. And because like I've noticed that my torch has gone up, but I do have to be careful. 
uh, because I know I do not want to die. You know, ranged weapons do help. Um, I will have to say they 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 help a lot. I have not I yet to find a chest. A chest. I have not did did that yet. But let's go ahead and just smash these pots here. And yeah, we'll see if we can find some other stuff. Our, right now, I already see. I need to find some life crystals if I'm going to make it anywhere when it comes to <laughs> me playing this game in master mode. I'm going to go back to where I was, obviously, because we did find some shurikens. And shurikens are really nice kind of range weapon there to use. Um, you know, it's like a counterpart to the bow. Counterpart to the bow. They're really actually useful. And I think that, uh, it's going to be a good time. I think it's going to be really useful for me to uh, kill as much as enemies as I need. But we'll also have to make some potions and stuff like that as well. Let's find some extra type of ores that I'm going to need within this playthrough. Because if I don't, then, well, it's going to be a big F in the chat. Oh, I did not catch you there. Well, I guess we... So we did find a chest. I didn't catch this chest that was right here. They are slimy and they tend to... I don't know, avoid you somehow. Anyways, well, we found our first chest and some loot. You want to know what? The loot wasn't that bad. So we got a radar, some night owl, some recall, which will be useful. And some glow sticks, which will also be useful. And grenades are pretty good, too. Oh, and we also got some iron. That's nice. We can use that. We are going to need to make some better, and I mean better, <coughs> types of uh, <coughs> weapons here. Now, there's probably something up here. I've never checked, so we're going to go check up here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, mine a whole bunch of iron, because that's I know that's going to be really helpful for me. There's nothing really here anymore other than just water. So, we can use some recall potion back just to go... Okay, so maybe we should try... Before it gets too bad, I do want to find some stuff, more stuff. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and... I kind of want to try to avoid the corruption at the moment only because it's the corruption is going to be bad news for me at the moment until I have some at least some better stuff and better weapons and just so I can you know avoid you know dying so like I said I should try to avoid it <laughs> but you want to know what um, you can only do so much so we're not going to go this way we're going to go the other way the way that I died before, oh look at the merchant has arrived. Where must the merchant be? So now I can actually buy some more of these. So, okay, I don't know what I'm gonna actually do when it comes to creating some tools because I could go with an iron pickaxe, but that's 40 and this is 35, so it's not that much, but we do need some stuff. So this is eight and that's four. So I'm gonna go with the iron bow just cause I would rather have the iron bow over the wooden bow because, you know, big difference when it comes to, you know, melee dam or, uh, you know, range damage. And you know what? Not a bad, you know, upgrade. And we can always do some upgrades later on down the road. So right now I'm actually going to go ahead and, you know, fix this house area up. And I think that's going to be a big change into what I'm doing. So... Okay, so I did fix the house a little bit more, a little bit more, you know, sizable, so I can have some stuff put down here as well. And I can also use the table right here. I still think, I still kind of think it's, you know, it's already, we're good. No, this guy, the merchant has everything, which is not bad uh, because I do use the merchant, but maybe, maybe we'll change this around a little bit. All the zombies are gone. So I'm going to go this way. Just to make sure I know that I can find something because I need to find a lot. And if I have to, uh, I'm going to try to find some, like like I said, already made cave systems that are not going to go into the corruption. So I can just find whatever I need to find. I want to be able to make sure I can, you know, have what I have before, you know, something ends up, you know, spawning or, you know, if I, I don't want to be unprepared if, you know, the eye of... Cthulhu just decides to spawn in without any type of warning. Okay, looks like we found a, some type of cave system. I hope it could be good. I hope I'm not just going down here to waste my time. Normally, that's usually sometimes what is what happens with these things. But I guess you can say 
It's not because, like, cobwebs are really good. You, uh, you can sleep now in Terraria. Learn that one. I didn't know that until uh, I was watching a video before I made this video. Which, this is, uh, the video gave me an idea. It was actually playing hardcore, but I didn't want to do hardcore right now because I'm not ready for hardcore. But, I did want to do master mode because I had the idea of doing master mode. I was like, I should do master mode so I can go ahead and just make a video on it and see how people, you know, how you guys like it. See what you guys think. But, you know, I am finding some more iron in here, which is pretty, pretty good. It's not too good, but it's good enough. It's going to help me with whatever I need to do. Uh, if I want to find something, I should go try to find something and go down a lot deeper. I'm going to probably end up having to make some type of different pickaxe so I can go ahead and try. So I can go ahead and just, you know, mine my way up, uh, mine my way down to find whatever I got to find. Because that's probably, that's what it's looking to, like to be what I'm going to need to do. Because this world is not forgiving. I'm going to tell you that much. Alright, let's see if we can find something a little bit more better around in this world. I feel like we can. I just need to probably mine my way down. I'll go ahead and try to do that later though. There's some, something right here. Which may have, or may or may not have a chest. So we'll, we'll figure it out. I should be collecting the day balloons. Because that's going to be a big, big big thing that we have to we are going to need when it comes to making potions and stuff like that because we are going to need some potions oh wow so we already found okay so we found a living wood tree the traveling merchant has arrived okay so we found mm, not too bad not too bad i i'm i would like to find some uh obviously i'm not going to find hermes boots instead of a living wood chest but there is some extra chest down here that I'm actually finding and we can also sell that That's not bad. We can sell because uh, we already have a radar. So at least we're making some coins We also have another chest right here. So we have a, s a keen spear That's actually not too bad. I'll, I'll actually take it because the keen spear is actually not a bad of a weapon especially It has like far range. Oh, yeah, there's another chest right there as well. We have an umbrella. You want to know what? That's actually a good find. Only cause, because it's going to be to where we don't take fall damage. And here we are in the jungle. Uh, the jungle is not bad on loot, actually. It's like probably the best place you can get loot, especially Hermes boots. I think I want to get Hermes boots only so I can uh, only so I can be like quick enough. So a tin pickaxe is literally is the same as copper. So that would make no sense. Let's just go ahead and make the iron pickaxe because I think the iron pickaxe is going to help us mine a little bit faster. Not too fast, but you know, just a little bit fast. It's going to make it a little bit better. Um, at least I'm hoping it makes it better, but we'll see. Okay, so we did find a chest down here, which is not bad. <laughs> I'll take it. Right on when it comes to the uh, iron pickaxe. It does make it a little bit faster to mine. So, that was a, you know, a good make. I will like to find some extra, you know, maybe I can find some uh, extra stuff like gold. If I do find some gold, that would be a le even a lot more better because... And right now, I see something that is... But I found my first life crystal, which is good. I will take it. Because I'm going to need a lot of life. Okay, so here we have... We found a cavern in the jungle. Not sure how good it's gonna be, but we'll see. We'll see. I do not have a shine potion. I do wish I had a shine potion. We'll figure out how to make one of those in a minute. But we'll go down here, see what we can find. For some reason, the music does not work. The game music doesn't work for me. I don't know why. We have found some platinum right now, and I I think that's actually great because I need pla I need something at least better than iron. Uh, I've been searching for a little bit, and I haven't found anything yet, but we'll s I'll get back to you when I, when I can find something. I also found some silver, too, which is also going to be a help. Really helpful. Uh, I can use it for many other things, like maybe even a, a silver pickaxe will even do good. Um, I think I think I'm going to wait, uh, hold off on some, uh, like, you know, making a pickaxe and stuff like that, because... 
I really do think a gold pickaxe will do justify or even a platinum pickaxe. It's just, you know, I, I'm not finding anything. And I'm really, 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 really trying to look for some, you know, a lot of, you know, hearts so I can, you know, get some extra health. So it's a little bit, you know, less difficult. Hang on. Things are starting to look up now because we have found um, our first track. Not saying that this could be good, but it can be. And I can't light anything up over here except, yeah, except right there. So there's a lot of silver and a lot of stuff that I can, you know, I'm getting. We'll, we'll see what's in this chat. Uh, well, what, what, what's over here? If there's some, if there is anything over here, usually there is some gold chests and houses by the uh, these tracks right here, but sometimes there isn't. Okay, so we found our first glowing mushroom biome, which is not bad. Uh, I actually want to go down there because this is how you make shine potion. And we found another heart crystal, which is good. Add that to the collection of hearts that we are going to need. I'm not going to leave this area only because I know that this area, usually the glowing mushroom biome is usually really good when it comes to, when it comes to loot. So... All right, so we did find some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put in the chest and we'll see what we can do. So we did have some glowing mushroom seeds, which is actually pretty good. Uh, we'll see what we can uh, do with all this stuff. So we did have that. We have 111 silver ore, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna smell all this stuff. Uh, we also did find some coffee, which uh, I don't know how, if that has anything to do, but I do want to see what I can do with some of this stuff. So I will need to probably end up getting like some sand so I can make some bottles, which we'll do. So the silver bow does nine damage and this one does eight. So that's just a one, a one upgrade. The silver broadsword does 11. This does five. I'm thinking about making that. I think that would be pretty cool. I'm going to actually probably end up making some chains uh, because we will need some stuff from like a chain. But I'm thinking about making the broadsword because we can't necessarily make a pickaxe unless if we have wood. I do. I did forget that the you need wood to make a pickaxe, especially when it comes to just the pickaxes. So this does 45 and this does 40. So I'm not going to go ahead and make that upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and make the broadsword, the uh, silver broadsword upgrade, because I think that will be a pretty good upgrade. So I just killed a whole bunch of stuff with some bombs and I got a bone pickaxe which does 55 pickaxe power. I'll take it. Um, this thing is going to probably end up killing me because those things are hard to kill. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up because I don't want to die when I'm looking at this stuff because I did find some stuff and I do have the recording. I'll, I'll show the recording just to make sure that you guys know that I'm killing this stuff. So I did kill some stuff with bombs. This does 14 melee damage. I don't know what dropped this, but something dropped it. And I'm, it could have been anything. It could have been the miner, but I'll, I'll keep the bone pickaxe though. Yo-yos are my best friend when it comes to, uh, killing things anyways i'm not trying to die here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and keep looking around because i know that i can find a lot more uh when it comes to being in water it's kind of the it's the worst and i did find a lot of platinum but there's a lot more platinum than i can mine so we do have 50 glow sticks which is pretty good i'm actually i'm kind of i'm really happy about that i'm gonna keep the bombs with me because uh it actually worked out in my favor so, what, that's actually going to be perfect. Alright, so what we need to do is see if we can make a, uh, a sawmill. We can't make a sawmill, then we'll have to... We can make a sawmill, because it takes two iron. Okay, so it only takes five, so I can make a bed. 
I guess I'll just put the bed right here for right now. And now we can finally sleep. Wow, that's actually really cool. Now it's just a matter of us trying to find some chest. If we can find some chest with some stuff like gravitational potion, Hermes boots and all that, I think we're golden. I really do. So there's really nothing here. Other, I mean, it's not, it's not rigged. So we will close out of that and we're going to go down a little bit more down here because I know there is some stuff down here that we can explore as well. This is going to be the end of part one of the master mode in Terraria. If you guys want to see any more of the of this actual playthrough, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys really want to see it, make sure to leave the video a like. I would love for you guys as uh, feedback to see what you guys want to see on the channel. I'm trying something a little bit different here. And if you guys are new around here, make sure to consider subscribing because I do things like this all the time and I try new things with this channel all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.